Hi, my name is Xiao Lan. Traditional or simplified? A lot of people ask us what the difference between traditional and simplified, and which one should they learn? All right, let's understand Chinese characters first. Imagine you are the ancient Chinese caveman, and you saw a rock, you drew a rock, you saw a mountain, you drew a mountain, you saw your wife, you drew a woman, and the dog, you drew a dog. That's called pictographic symbols. And those symbols, uh, over time, are not enough to express what you want to do. So, how to express the verb, and your actions, and your emotion, and how about the extra concepts. Chinese people, they started putting the characters together, and sometimes they create symbols and they pass on. And some of the efforts were done by individuals and some of the efforts were done by the government. So over the thousands of years, the symbols which survived get passed on and then get uh, spread around and they become official, being collected in the dictionaries. So that's quite an evolution. So imagine the sun used to look like a round circle with a dot. And later on, it changed the shape, depends on the medium. Uh, for example, in the ancient time, they had to carve on the sand, they had to carve on the ceramic, and they had to carve on the metal. But by the time they used the bamboo strips as a medium, it's quite hard to carve the circle on the bamboo strip. And later on, after the Han Dynasty, when paper was invented, people started using brushes with the ink on the paper. And this is when the characters became a lot more versatile, with a lot of different shapes and forms and this is a bit like in English you have a phone type and the same as in Chinese, they have different phone type and sometimes it's a trendy thing and sometimes it is just because um, this is uh, the way the government will encourage people to have so it's been evolving, has always been evolving the biggest effort historically was done by the Communist Party in China ever since 1949 when they took over China and formed a new country. So at that time, they started gathering the scholars and also some government officials to simplify thousands of Chinese characters because they wanted to make sure that people can learn the characters more easily and quickly to improve the illiteracy rate in China. So the biggest effort was made during the 1950s and 60s. They collectively simplified altogether about 2,000 of those. But the most commonly used characters, uh, the traditional form and simplified form, stay the same way. Alright, so this is a little bit long history about how traditional and simplified works. And most of the words being simplified actually stay uh, quite similar to the traditional form. For example, the character for the pig in traditional and simplified look quite similar, the same as cat or bird. And some characters, they just uh, basically like some character for the horse instead of having four legs, and now this horse is uh, kneeing there resting. So you can still see the original shape and form, and only a couple other characters, they simplify to a way to combine the two characters into one. How do we say that? For example, noodle and face. Hmm. They are actually two different characters originally, and now they merge into one. And the reason is that um, they use the character for face to represent noodle, it's not because the person's face looks like noodle or the other around, it's because they pronounce the same way. And originally, the character for noodle was the combination between the character for wheat and character for face. And here, they both pronounce as mian. And now, noodle has become face, and they share the same shape and form. Which one to learn? In China, most people use simplified, unless they study Chinese literature, and it's important to go back to the ancient history and etymology. Most highly educated people in China, they also recognize traditional forms. And in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau, also certain part of North America, because there were some early Chinese settlements, traditional characters are more popular and it's also official characters. So China and Singapore, uh, they study simplified Chinese. The good news here is, most characters you will come across, they are either share the same form, or they have just very marginal, minor differences. A bit like the difference between British English and American English. 
and certain characters, there are much bigger changes, like the one I mentioned, Mian, for example. In some Chinese programs, especially programs designed for learning Chinese as a second language, some universities, uh, when they teach Chinese, the first year they learn traditional, and the second year onwards they learn simplified. In terms of writing, for sure, Traditional form is more complicated, therefore it takes a lot more effort to learn how to write. But in terms of recognizing uh, the recognition part of the characters, uh, some people feel traditional is easier to recognize because you can associate the horses with four legs. And for example, with the door, you can see the door faces rather than just two pillars. And some people found it more clue for you to recognize the characters. But uh, it's up to you. And I would encourage you to do both. And in Chinese, we do both of them. All right, I hope that answered your question about traditional and simplified. Stay tuned and follow us. Take care, bye.